Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about four ways to make him feel weak and crazy about you. So if this is your first time to our channel, make sure that you go and hit the subscribe button to get more videos on how to have the relationship that you've always wanted. So let's say that you're with a man and you want him to feel a more intense desire for you to the to the extent that he almost feels like weak or like uh, crazy about being with you and, and having you in his life. So what do you do? So the overarching theme that we're going to be talking about here is something that I call the uh, one special woman formula. And I talk about this in, in a bunch of different programs and different videos that I have on here. And what, what it is, is there's one kind of key component to it. And then there's kind of these sub components that we're going to be talking about in the video. And so the number one one key component is this thing called value, right? Being high value. So to a man, if a man <clears throat> wants to, uh, what makes a man feel like you're the right woman for him, like you're just this amazing, awesome woman that he's just you know, madly, uh, passionately, deeply in love with, is uh, this feeling that you're this valuable woman to him right? Like you've got something that's special about you. Like, um, you've, you, you enrich and enhance his life and, um, you want to be high value enough so that he feels like he needs to strive to attain you, right? Like, like you're somebody that he needs to put in effort for, like he needs to, um, <clears throat> pursue and chase uh, and go for a real relationship with, but not so much that you're completely out of reach, right? So a lot of times women come to my channel and they ask me questions um, where, and, and generally their situation is on the extremes, right? So sometimes, a lot of times people are in the middle, but a lot of times people go to the extremes as well. And the extremes are like one side being, you know, so completely available that you know, guys like he doesn't feel like there's anything special going on there. And the other side is kind of this, I'm so busy and I've got so much going on and, you know, I'm so high value and you'll never reach or attain me or, you know, end up being in a relationship with me. And neither one of those are good places to be when you're in a relationship with a guy. There's this middle spot and we're going to be talking about this right now. So there's four components to what we're going to be talking about right now. And number four is probably the most powerful one, um, but the, all of them are important. So, so stay tuned for all of them. So the first thing that you want to do to make a guy feel weak and crazy about you um, is, uh, is it's more of a lifestyle thing, right? It's, it's being happy in your own life right? It's having a good life. It's, it's feeling happy. It's not needing him, uh, to have happiness, right? It's not needing him to feel love, uh, to feel all the important and, uh, wonderful things that you want to experience in your life. And the reason that this is really powerful is that when he sees you, he sees like this amazing, fun, interesting, uh, person, right? He, he, he gets to be with you and he feels like he's winning constantly, right? And the more he feels like he's winning, uh, it actually creates this, um, uh, dopamine effect in his, in his brain where, uh, he, he can even get addicted to this feeling like he's winning with you, right? And so you're, it, it's like you're giving him, uh, <clears throat> You have your own life and you have your own things that make you happy and he's striving, continually feeling challenged to strive to make you happy, but he can, right? It's not um, like, like there's some women and guys get into relationships with them all the time who uh, rely on the man for their happiness and, and it, it works because uh, the guy has to strive to make her happy. Um, long term, it doesn't work though, because what ends up happening is uh, it's nothing's ever enough, right? And so that's one extreme, right? And the other extreme is kind of being like um, not needing him at all, right? And not not wanting him in in your life at all, and and it being like so uh, difficult to win with you that he just gives up completely. 
So the second way to make a guy feel weak and crazy about you is uh, actually a mindset component. And this mindset component is feeling attractive, valuable, and confident yourself. And the reason why this is really powerful is because men are just naturally drawn to women that are confident, right? They're drawn to women, like we were talking about, women that are valuable to them, women who are, uh, who are attractive. And when you feel these things already, um, men can pick up on like subtle things, subtle kind of uh, feelings that are going on with a woman, right? So if, if uh, you come to an interaction and you feel really insecure, uh, most guys can kind of pick up on that, right? If he's talking to you, he can pick up on you feeling insecure, you feeling you're, like you're not valuable. You're going to project that in what you say when you're talking to him. Now, on the other hand, if you feel like you're confident and you feel like you're valuable and you, you uh, feel like you're attractive, he's going to pick up on that as well. And in his mind, uh, in his subconscious mind, he's going to think, oh, maybe she really is all of these things. Uh, even if maybe um, he, he wouldn't normally think that about a woman that he met Anyway, if, if you, um, there, there's a, a, I had a mentor that used to tell me, uh, she who is um, the most certain always wins, right? So if you're the most certain about who you are and how you feel, um, that uh, kind of gets transferred to other people. And if you believe that you're confident, if you believe that you're attractive, if you believe that you're valuable, um, then the people around you, men and women, will start to look at you that way no matter what, right? Because it breaks their systems of what they believe and all of a sudden they take on your perspective. And so what you want to do is you want to spend time figuring out what makes you feel confident. Spend time uh, figuring out what makes you feel attractive. Spend time figuring out what makes you feel valuable, right? And, and learn more about how that works in your life. You know, uh, what, what kind of things do you need to do to feel confident? Generally, uh, being good at something makes you feel confident, right? Like knowing what to say, knowing what to do in certain situations is what makes people feel confident. Or, um, you know, attractive. What can you wear? What can you, um, how can you look? How can you uh, work with yourself? How can you feel about yourself to make yourself feel attractive? right? Or valuable. Um, you know, like what things do you need to have in your life to make you feel like a valuable person? And so working on those things can be incredibly powerful and make a guy feel like you're just an amazing woman. So number three, and this is where we get into some of the really, really good stuff. Uh, number three is focusing on what he feels when he's around you. You know, and there's kind of a component where it's like, okay, uh, a guy needs to feel good when he's around you, right? But a guy doesn't only need to feel good when he's around you. It's like if you went to a movie theater, right, and you watched a movie, and the movie was just fun the whole time. You know, it might be kind of interesting, but it probably wouldn't be that memorable. You know, you'd leave the theater and you'd be like, ah, it was, it was good, you know, like I, I enjoyed it, you know, it was fun. Um, however, uh, a really good movie, some of the classic movies, the best movies that are out there, they don't just make you feel one emotion, right? They take you through a roller coaster ride, right? You're, you're in there, you're smiling, you're laughing, you're feeling anticipation, the thrill, right? You get, you get scared, maybe, maybe there's a point where you're like crying, you know, there's, it takes you through a whole bunch of different emotions. And when you get to the end of the movie, you're like, Oh man, that was so awesome, right? Because you experienced all these different things and feeling all those different types of emotions can be addictive, right? And it can make a guy feel addicted to being around your presence. And so way number four, and this is one of the most powerful ones, is being unpredictable, mysterious, and surprising. So um, the analogy that I'll give for this one is that of like a... Um, 
uh, going out to uh, a gamble or something, right? People get addicted to gambling because of the uh, because of how unpredictable it is, right? Sometimes they win, sometimes they don't. You know, there's all these different things going on, and it kind of triggers all these different emotions and these dopamine uh, receptors in their brains and these you know floods of different emotions and stuff. And and what ends up happening is they become addicted to it, right? And so uh, being unpredictable is the key to making a guy feel really addicted to you and, and just being like totally obsessed, right? So if a guy, um, if you want a guy to be like really, really into you, uh, be unpredictable, you know, don't do the same thing all the time. Don't say the same thing all the time, you know, and, and again, there's there's extremes on this one, right? One, one extreme is being on the side of being totally predictable and, you know, it's the same thing every single time, you know, it's chicken for dinner, you know, and the other side is like being massively unpredictable, right? Which is too far, right? Which is when guys start to think that women are crazy is when they're like, wow, she's, you know, I mean, I have no idea what's going on with her. She's completely out of her mind, right? You want to be somewhere in the middle, right? Uh, You want to be in this space where you're not predictable, um, but you're also not like crazy, you know, and, and you, but uh, you, you give him a lot of different emotions to feel you, you, uh, you do a whole bunch of different things. All of these things, they're going to leave him wanting more. And that's really what you want to give him is this feeling like, I, you know, he wants more, right? And, and you're different. You're different from all the, the bland, boring women that he meets out there. You're this really interesting, special, high value, unpredictable, interesting, attractive, confident woman. And uh, got a woman like that is just unbelievably attractive to any guy. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.